that you have employed here for motor generation. See, there are two main options for rainwater action. One is storage of uh, rainwater and squeezing for all the purposes. Yeah. One more is putting it in the ground. Yeah. So, the second option is this. We have to, we are taking back from the bore well all the water inside the mother earth. But we are not giving anything back to that. We have to give something so that our temperature will be cold and no other natural disaster will happen. We should take care of that. And our future generation should also get some underground water. So that's why we have to give something to our nature that we are doing here. So this is a recharge well, that is cement ring well. That is in, to increase the aquifer level, that is the underground water table we have to increase. So that is why we have done and this is a very typical and a simple way and approved method for from BWSSB for all the houses and apartments and everywhere. So the water is channeled from your uh, rooftop? Yeah, from the roof it is coming to this uh, well. well, but uh, also filtering is important here. So what kind of filter would you employ here? Uh, we can have uh, just flush well in the first way yeah. and also we have simple trap well. Using jelly stones? Yeah, jelly like stones in a 2 by 2 or 1 by 1 feet and putting the inlet and outlet. So, filled with a jelly stone, baby jelly or potato. How deep would you have the recharge uh, then? Uh, that is a very good question because uh, people do not understand the, the concept of the well. They will just want to, uh, they will think that if they leave water on the earth or just on the surface, they will, they will think that the recharge will happen, but that is not the case. Here, 80% evaporation will happen. But when we put it deep into the earth, then only the filtration, infiltration can happen. So here, what you have to do is 3 feet minimum dia, diameter and 10 feet depth is required. So 10 feet is very much required because any foundation will be up to 6 feet for a building. So beyond that, if you go, then recharge will be happening very uh, neatly. And also the porous soil should be there. Uh, we should not do this in a clay or rocky areas. Uh, the porous, loamy, sandy soil is a very important here. So this would ensure that the water is recharged? Recharged so into the earth and water table will be very much increased and uh, around around this whatever the bore well we will take, the water will be there. So the, the typical sequence uh, as I understand mm -hmm. from this would be that you put a uh, pop-up filter or a rainy filter, trap the water from there, put it into your sump, the overflow from the sun, you can put it into your yeah, recharge. That is thing. also a good method. Yeah. Uh, directly you can leave to the well also yeah. or you can store and, and then recharge this water to the recharge well also. Yeah. Here main thing is you should not use the concrete, you should not plaster here. Just we have to dig the well and then put the rings one above the other and outside the ring you have to put the jelly stones. Okay. Full 10 feet you have to put. Yeah. Maybe jelly, uh, 40 mm or 20 mm jelly stones, okay. up to uh, 10 feet or 20 feet, whatever you need. Based on the roof area, the size of the well is also um, calculated. Okay, uh, this well, it is created only through the rings okay. and outside the jelly. And also you can see the pipe, how the inlet comes. So some people have a habit of putting the jelly inside it. No, that is very wrong because... Uh, as you know, we have many, many, many properties, lacks of properties at Bangalore and we want to put the jelly stones inside the uh, well, it is, it's not sufficient to put, one, that is one thing, quantity of the uh, aggregate stones. Second thing is, if we put the aggregates inside it, after some years the clogging will be there, still deposits will be there, nobody is going to clean that. So that is also one more thing. If you leave the uh, surface like that only, we can scoop the very uh, silt uh, deposited on the very first layer and put it out to the garden. But uh, we can't clean the aggregates and keep it back. That is also another. So what you are suggesting is here, you have a 3 meter uh, diameter three, of the well, 3 feet dia, three feet dia maybe 3 and a half feet. Yeah. So the rings go in, yeah. in the half feet dia which is there, you put the jelly stones yeah. which uh, protects your internal uh, cement ring. And, and the water packing is will be there. Packing will be there. And the water will directly come into the thing and the silt can be easily removed in this particular uh, way. Yeah, after some years. Uh, for, after, after, after some years. Yeah. It's deposited. Otherwise, it is a... Not required. Not required. Thank you.